What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So pre-pandemic, Shane and I watched a movie called Parasite. It won tons of awards and a dish from the movie became super popular afterwards. So this is a dish they actually made in the movie and they named it Japaguri, but in America we call it Ramdan. Apparently there just wasn't like a good enough translation <laughs> for what this actually was, so yeah. We apparently call it Ramdan here, but it's just two instant noodles, chapaghetti and niyoguri mixed together, and then there's steak on top. Now in the movie, they did cubed steak, probably marinated. I had bought some New York strip and I just love it like this. So I just decided to do regular seared steak and then I added some green onion. And another fun thing about this dish that I thought was interesting was that this represents apparently like the whole theme of the movie, which is like the infiltration of like the low class into the high class. And we got instant noodles and steak. Anyways, I'm just so effing excited to try this. I accidentally added all of the spicy packet from the Neoguri, and I was instructed to only do that if I wanted it really spicy. It was honestly an accident, but here we are. All right, guys, I have literally no idea what the flavorings are of either of these instant noodles. I literally just bought them because they were from the movie Parasite. So this is gonna be exciting for all of us. I haven't eaten Asian instant noodles in so long, guys. Mostly because of the spice. All right, let's do this. Hmm. The spice isn't too, too bad. It's definitely tolerable. Mm. 
So this chapaghetti is supposed to be really similar to jajangmyeon, which is like a Chinese Korean mix up black bean noodle dish. I'm definitely getting jajangmyeon. And then with the neogori, that's more of a spicy seafood. I'm not really getting as much seafood as I am spicy, but the spice with the jajangmyeon goes really, really well. And this is a way more tolerable spice than some of the samyang jajangmyeon. They're spicy versions of it. This is way, way, way better for me anyways. Really, really nice savory flavor. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, the green onion is so good with it. So is the wine. This freaking steak, guys. I impress myself with my steak cooking abilities. Mm. I love how rich and salty the steak is. Cooking it in butter and olive oil, just some salt. I didn't even add pepper. Literally the best. I'm struggling with this though. Mm. <laughs> hmm. One thing I will say about the preparation that I used, it said to cook the noodles in the water for a couple of minutes, then take like more than half the water out so that it was just covering the noodles. I would probably just have the noodles already in a pan, add the boiling water to it, and then immediately add the seasoning packets. Either that or I just needed less water because it took a little bit more time for it to get like nice and thick. I actually had to like remove some water and I had taken out the amount that the recipe had said to. It was like not even covering all of the noodles. Had I cooked it any longer, it would have been complete mush. And the noodles are definitely overdone. <laughs>
he's so cute. He's just laying by the door. He wants to go out for a walk <laughs> is what it really is. Yes, our cat goes for walks and I put it in my Instagram story sometimes. Almost every time. I'm not gonna lie. He just freaking loves it. Shane will take the harness out. It's like a little harness leash. And he like jumps up on the desk so that we can put it on him. Though it's not ever easy to put it on him even though he knows what we're doing. And then we bring him outside and he just walks around, tries to eat all of the grass and stuff. And then when he starts to pant, because it's hot as hell right now, we pick him up and we bring him inside. I am like shocked that this isn't super spicy. I know Chinese food isn't really known for being spicy. The Korean food is definitely on the spicier side. And the niyoguri is the Korean instant noodle and the chapagetti is the Chinese instant noodle. So it would make sense that the niyoguri was spicy, but I'm really surprised that it's not spicier. guys well I'm actually pretty full I feel like I just went full-on inhalation on these noodles Shane is going to be thrilled that there's steak left over I would be super, super curious to try a version of this that was homemade. At the end of the day, this does taste like an instant noodle dish. Not that there's anything wrong with that. When I was in LA, I had this amazing jajangmyeon and it just like blew any other jajangmyeon instant noodle that I've ever had out of the water, like completely. It was so good. And so, yeah, really, really wondering what this would be like from scratch. Is the train about to run somebody over? Why are all the beeping? Why? I heard you the first 20 times, honestly. Why didn't you come say hi to Jesus? No. I know. Oh, it's a kitten. It's a kitten. What's that? That's not for you. That's what it is. Or that's what it's not. 
You are just so cute. Oh. Oh. He does this really cute thing where he's a clock. I just don't know if he's gonna do it though. Yeah, he's not gonna do it. No, no. All right, guys. Well, this is really fun. I feel like I've had these instant noodles for like two solid months in my pantry. So I'm glad I finally got around to making it. I hope that this helped you decide whether or not you would like to make Ramdan or Japagori for yourself at home. I will include the link where I got both of these. They were actually sold together, big surprise, on Amazon. I'll include the link in the description of the video for you. If you have any comments or anything about this video, questions, suggestions for other videos, put all that in the comments for me as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>